All right, Kenman here, and today is quite exciting. This box here contains a new release of a prototype that I actually handled recently. Hint, hint. And um, yeah, I saw that it had become or was about to become available, and I patiently watched. And when it was up for sale, I bought one, and here it is. Awesome stuff. Before we start, I'm not sponsored by anyone and I purchase everything at retail price. I do these videos because I love discussing knives and sharing info and ideas with others. If you have any questions or thoughts, please feel free to comment below. Okay, yes, I handled a prototype of this knife, this new release at uh, Blade Show Texas. If you didn't see, uh, right there uh, was my... Blade Show Texas playlist. Had a really good time. If you ever have a chance to go to a Blade Show and you can, I highly recommend it. All right. Let's cut it free from the shackles of its bag contained. Here we go. Are we ready? Do we know what it is? Ooh, that's tight in there. I got the, there we go. Ooh. Bag on the floor, and we have A, C, J, R, B. Nice. Excellent stuff. A new CJRB, <laughs> CJRB release, a new one. What could it be? If you have your hand on the pulse, you probably know. Someone might say, oh, it's that new rose gold Bowie. Um, pyrite. Now yeah, that one's not out yet, but I'm paying attention for it. But this one, I was very excited and eager to see. The prototype actually had a yellow handle, um, but they did not offer that option. So which one did I get? What is it? There it is. Boom. This crap out of here. Come with a nice cloth, a nice pouch. Anybody recognize? See what this is? Ooh, look at how dark it is. Did I make the right decision? We're about to find out. The new CJRB release is called the Prado. Ho, 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 Oh, I don't know how much that sticks out on camera. It is subtle, but there is some grainy lines and cross-cut texture to it. Ooh, yes. So the Prado, like I said, the prototype had a yellow, it wasn't like an Altum scale mini bag on the floor. Um, but it was kind of a yellow G10. They did not offer that. They offered a black G10 a kind of a turquoise blue G10, and then a lighter colored wood and a darker colored wood. I went with this darker colored wood. You kind of see some of the machine lines on there. That's interesting. So the Prado, this is a Ray Laconico design. Oh, yes. Look at this thing, huh? What are we looking at? This is an AR RPM 9 blade steel right there. We have an ebony wood. This is the choice I chose for the handle. Crossbar style lock. The clip can be swapped to the other side for the lefties. Let's get some close looks here. Ooh, I love that blade shape, that clip point. Secondary, this little spot up there. What's everyone think of the Prado? This is a big knife. Excited to have this. I like it. I like crossbar locks quite a bit. So yeah, I'll swap that clip to the other side. There's that crossbar lock. Oh, oh yes. That is excellent. So we've got the fuller hole for the thumb flick out like that. 
finger flick or a reverse and flick, spidey flick. <laughs> Very easy. Crossbar lock drops. I have an issue. I don't know if you call it an issue, but I have I have larger hands, long hands. Okay. And so sometimes when I grab a smaller crossbar lock, I kind of squeeze it and I get some, some meat of my hand doing some stuff like this up here. Well, if you look at this one here where it's at, because it's larger, I don't, that meat doesn't wrap around. If it's a smaller knife, sometimes it wraps around and I've seen where I've got that crossbar and I'm grabbed like this to bring it in. And right there, I have actually cut myself on a smaller knife doing that. Oh, this is fantastic. Not sure on the wood handle. Um, it'd be cool if they made an Ultim handle for this. Or, because that is black. Yeah, see, that would look sweet. See, I'm just going to grab this really quick. This is one that I got at Blade Show Texas. This is the CJRB Hectare. Um, see, it's got the Ultim scales. S90V blade on this bad boy. But it's it's got those black liners. So those black liners, you can see through that Ultim. And it makes a real cool kind of a look. And then when you close it, because the blade is silver, you're seeing a silver against black. If it was like black on black or silver on silver, you wouldn't really get that contrast. So with this, I've got a silver blade, right? But the hardware is all black. And if you look inside there, you can see that skeletonized liner that's recessed in there. That is black. So if this was like Altum per se, you would see that black underneath that yellow would actually would look really good. Thoughts, comment below. What's everyone think about the Prado? Has anyone ordered one already? Um, like I said, they just became available, so they're really just getting out there. Um, all the wood ones are actually sold out. I apologize. Um, showing you this, and then you want to get this one, and you look, and it's no longer available. But as soon as it was available, they kind of looked like they sold out pretty quick. That's a good angle. You can kind of see there's some, you know, it's a dark wood. It's definitely very dark, but you can see this kind of stripey kind of, there's a lighter, whiter kind of an area there, a darker stripe across there. Wood grain, you never know what you're going to get. Each one right next to this one could have some spectacular lines on it, and then the next one could be very plain. I'm quite happy with uh, which one I got. All right, um, let's see. Centering looks right where it needs to be. Lock up. It is solid. Blade does not move. Um, it does have the crossbar lock, so that kind of affects the pull in. That's got a pretty hard, like if you notice way up here, and boom, it kind of, the lock, if you watch that lock, move and it shifts over and pulls it in so if it's you've got a really weak one you can kind of i'm trying to I've, I've had somewhere that have a really weak detent and you can kind of sit there and do this with it you it's kind of hard to do that i can get it to go just a little bit but really it kind of wants to fire out so it's kind of tuned in properly i would say wow quite happy okay uh jimps big old jimp jimp jimps right there Kind of goes up a little bit, almost wants to harpoon up just a little bit, but not really, down into that nice clip point. Oh, yes, I like this design quite a bit. The action works really good. Flipping it out just by the lock alone. Yeah, baby. Okay. Let's measure it up. This is a big knife. Almost eight and a half. It wants to be eight and a half. It's not quite. It's pushing it. Probably eight and three eighths. Blade itself is three and three quarters. And the cutting surface is a little more than three and a half. Nice big belly. And the handle is a little more than four and a half. Four and five eighths. Good size, good size. I like a larger knife. All right, let's weigh it. 
get that where you can see it. 3.14, not very heavy. How about that? Standard pyrite. Oops, standard pyrite. Look at the, I'm sorry, I'm, look at the size difference. Smaller. I mean, this is steel, steel body, but pyrite is a smaller knife. But pyrite weighs 3.67, 3.14. So the Prado is definitely a lighter offering. Um, I don't know how much the uh, wood handle um, comes into play with that. If the G10 one is a little bit heavier or not, but uh, it is not a heavy knife. So that is something to think about. Actually, before I get too crazy on that, because some of the other comparisons, because of the weight, let's zoom back in here a little bit. What was it one more time? 3.14. One of the ones I want to compare it to is this Benchmade tagged out. Way too light. I want to get some titanium scales for it. It's just like the bug out on um, steroids. It's the larger bug out from the Benchmade offering is what I would call it. The tagged out. It's just it's a bigger, but it's got that thin, very ultra light. It's designed to be very light in the pocket. 2.11. So it is, it is light, but it has a very similar kind of a design that's why I kind of wanted to grab it it's a design they're both designed to be a little bit lighter of a knife if you look at that blade shape it's very similar size wise these are pretty much identical handle is about the same a little bit more of a swooping belly on the tagged out but the tagged out is really nice I really like this knife it's also a crossbar lock so they're very similar with that fuller hole and then the crossbar style lock um, mechanism. So again, like I said, they tell me these don't have a lot of similarities to them. Um, yeah. Oof. This knife is cool. I'm really happy I got it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and grab the uh, Lago. Is a little bit bigger CJRB. See the comparison on that? Handle's about the same. Lago blade is just a little bit shorter. The ones that are down here make it look a little bit larger. And you can see it looks a little bit bigger from down there. Um, did I put it next to the Hectare when I had the Hectare? Not really. Hectare is a little bit smaller of a knife, so you can see that Prado definitely has got a little size on that. But yeah, dude, see how that Ultim and that black and then with the blade inside there? Such a cool look. That if this one had that ultimate handle, to do that same thing. Yeah, I don't know. I do like the way this looks. This wood did turn out really great. So I'm going to have to carry it for a while. See what I think about it. Make my own opinion over time. Comment below. What does everyone think? Are they going to get one of these? You like these larger knives? What do you think of CJRB? I think they make a lot of cool stuff. Um, enjoy everything that I've purchased from them. More unboxings coming, uh, unboxings coming soon. Uh, tons of them, actually. I got a lot of stuff coming. Uh, more laser marks and dies. I'm going to get going on that scrimshaw again soon. A lot of fun stuff coming up on the channel if you like that custom stuff and this unboxings of the style of knives that Kenman enjoys. But yeah, that's going to be it for today. If you enjoy what you see, please hit that like button and subscribe if you'd like to see more. It helps me out and I really appreciate it. Stay sharp. I'll see you soon.